Hello everybody and welcome to my 28th Visual Basic in Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to go into um, save as dialog boxes so um, best way to do it is just to show you so sub save as um, and we're going to create a little box on here so we're going to have a little save box um, Let's create a little box here. So, um, add text, save, and let's just. Oh, don't want to delete it. <laughs> uh, center. I want to center it into the uh, middle of the thing as well, just so it looks a bit better. So, save, and let's make it a classic save of blue, um, with white writing. Right, important bits done. Uh, and then let's assign a macro. So let's say assign macro, save as. Okay. So let's go back in here. And um, we're going to use a uh, thing which is um, we want to go to, we want a variable. So we want file name equals application dot get save as file name. Now there's quite a lot of things you can do off of application and if you use that dot then it shows you what they all are. Um, we want get save as file name and let's play this. So let's go to save and you notice that you get the save or as dialog box here. So let's save it to a desktop and go test, test and save. But what you'll notice is that it doesn't get saved to the desktop and that is because when we bring this up we're not actually saving it uh, we're telling the program to get the value of where we want to save it. So let's make uh, this box here uh, 2, 4. Let's go this workbook in fact, let's just do it in a message box. Say message box file name. So let's play this again and save it there. And then you know that string takes the value of that file name. Um, so this is really, 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 really useful because um, then we can go. Uh, We can go oh, this workbook dot save as, and then we can put the file name. So this is basically just assigning save as to this. So now on the desktop, uh, if we go to open, um, oh, I don't want to go to new. Uh, to close file, open, and you'll see that it's saved there. So, um, I'm going to add in another box now. Um, and this one's going to be a yellow. Um, and in fact, I'm just going to copy and paste this one. Uh, and make it yellow. Uh, and we're going to have a nice dark red writing this time. And we're going to edit that text so that it says open. And so it's pretty much the same thing again. Only this time I'm going to have uh, by val save as boolean. Right. And then we're going to have. if save equals true then do that else do this and then in here we're going to have pretty much the same case only we're going to have get um, open file name so dot get open file name and then we're going to um, 
we're going to set dim a workbook as workbook and we're going to set workbook equal to workbooks dot open file name all right and then we're going to make two more that are just going to call this function say let's create um create this save or open then sub save and sub open and as I'm not using open uh, open workbook and let's make it save workbook just so we it's really clear that it's not just normal save and then we want to call save or open and for the save one we want to have this equal to true pass the value of true say so, and we want to call it so call save or open true and on this one we want call save or open false right and then if we go back into here and we sign our macros again so you notice now that the save or open function hasn't come up in the ability to sign, assign a macro and that's because it takes arguments so if you put arguments in then they're not going to come up in this little box here and they're also not going to come up in the old FA it only runs subs that will um, Running their own without arguments. So we want the save one to be save, and we want the open one to be open. So let's go save and open, and then we'll find this here, and then we can open it, and there we go. And it's it's not going to open it because it's already open. Uh, it's kind of it's opened a read only copy. And it says, so let's get rid of the read only copy. You go back to this one, and that's it. So, what's happening is again another use of calling a sub um, to do your code for you, and then you've got a choice then uh, of two different things. So, this is using one sub to do two different things, and you can just call it both times, but by passing the different things in. Um, which is really, really, really useful. So, and this is getting the name of file name, putting it into a, a message box and just showing you what it is and then saving it as that. Now, you can use this for lots of things. Um, you can use it for mapping uh, where you want things saved to and then getting it to save things to there in future. Um, because you can store that string in a, a, a cell or wherever um, and it's just a nice way to have like save and open you can have like this so uh, that's the end of this tutorial uh, thanks for listening and if you want to subscribe to my future t tutorials please go onto my channel uh, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial